Welcome, this is Kelly Ag with Stampin' with Kelly. I have a fun card to show you today. Um, I'm using the Cheerful Daisies, but um, it's more the technique of this card. Um, once you slide the little belly band off, it's the pop-up card that it pops up like this. Um, now, I know a lady, I'm not sure if she was Dutch or who she is, but she had made a card like this using the butterflies, and I couldn't really understand the words she said, so I decided to try to figure this out. It took me a few um, tries, but I think I figured it out pretty good, so I'm going to show you how to make this today, okay? So I had like pre-cut the daisies out and stuff like that. It's just more the technique. So we will get started. So the, to do the little part inside to make everything pop up, that's what I'm gonna work with first. So this is a piece of lemon lolly that is eight inches by seven and three quarters. So you got eight inches by seven and three quarters. And what I did is, um, okay, let's get this out. So this is our, that should be our eight inches here. Let's see. That's our eight inches. Okay, so on the seven and three quarter side, you will score, let me turn it this way, at three inches, three and three quarters, four and a half, and seven and a half, okay? So you got three inches, three and three quarters, four and a half, and seven and a half. And then you're going to turn it around back to the eight inch side, and you're gonna cut eight one inch strips, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me just close my arm here. So, This card takes a little bit longer, but once you put one together, it's pretty easy. It's just die cutting everything. Um, the butterflies were nice because she used the designer paper. I think that must have been like a couple years old, the video. So, so I'm not the one who came up with this idea. So I just seen it and I worked at it and tried to get it to perfect it. Um, so I could understand it. I know why that's just off a little bit. So I'm going to take that little section off. And then I have my um, four and a um, quarter by 11. And what I figured is because I'm not sure how big her card was, but I wanted mine to still fit in an envelope and it does. But you need this little pocket or little um, gap there so you can have that mechanism there so I went with um five and three eighths so I'm just scoring that at five and three eighths and then I turned it around and scored it at five and three eighths okay so that gives us our card base Um, let's see, what did I do with my, oh, bone folder here. I'm always losing that. Okay, so this is also the lemon lolly. So you want to just, um, you know, crease that really well. Try to keep your card base even as you do that because that little bit is kind of hard to do. Okay. All right. So there is our base. Okay. All right. So it gives you that little bit of the gap there that we need. Okay. So these take a little bit of time because you got this little quarter inch here. Then you're going to kind of fold it in half. And you want to try to keep these nice and neat too, like neat, but like straight, I guess is the word that I want to say. Okay. And then that will go in. 
So then what you'll do is put glue there and hold that. So <clears throat> I'm going to do, normally I would score and fold these all together, but I'm just going to go ahead and glue these as well. I'm trying not to get glue all over like I did. So this is how this is folded, okay? So you got the little tab out. The next one I'll show you before I glue it. But you got your little point in the middle. So looks like that, okay? Let's go ahead and just fold all of these, I guess. Fold them, but you wanna take your bone folder and um, press them really good. So and then this little piece you're going to bend in because that will be the part that you glue, okay? So let me go ahead and fold these. Let's see, I think I need, I did a couple and glued them. I should have done a few more, but it won't take me too long. So you just have to kind of bear with me. to do in the center too so let me take and glue a couple of these that I got done just want to hold it so the bottom's real neat okay almost there That's kind of nice to see start to finish, right? Nope. Like I said, I was trying to get this so, you know, if you got this where it's a little bit different, see, like I'm kind of getting this little edge right here that I don't know if I should maybe cut off, but I don't want to cut it off. So let's see. I'm just going to push that down because it worked good for my other card, so I don't really want to change it. But if you find that there's just a little bit um, overhang that you want to cut, maybe it'll lay better. I'm not sure. I'm just, you know, I practiced a couple of times and found that this worked for me. So all right. this little piece yet and we will glue these I love the um, cheerful daisy bundle it is so nice so I'm using Lemon Lolly for this, um, and I, I'm using also the Boho Blue for the flowers and the Misty Moonlight, okay? So for the front, I just um, embossed in the, I can't remember which folder this is, but I just kind of made it um, simple since we're adding a belly band, so... I want to say the timeless texture or something. I'm not sure, but it's still current. So, so that's just been my basic um four and a quarter by um five and a or I'm sorry four 
by five and a quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this right away. Um, last time I did it and I was lucky I didn't mess up, but um, I'm using this from the Charming Sentiments, I think it is. It says, every, wishing you everything wonderful. So I'm gonna stamp this before I put it on. Okay. And then, so that's in the misty moonlight. And then I'm gonna stamp some flowers. Now you could use designer paper, but um, I didn't. I just used the regular, oh, I think I got some blue on there. I don't know from where. Okay, so that's just in the lemon lolly. All right, we are going to put this down. Now this one will go on the bottom and you wanna add this first, of course or your designer paper, whichever you're using. Now I kind of thought about not putting this white on the top or you know, your designer paper. Oops, eh, I'm out of tape. But um, I got another roll here. But it kind of looked like it wasn't finished when I did that. I did try it once and I didn't really care for how it looked, so. All right, you want that taped down really good. So I thought if you do the white, um, it looked fine and I just stamped that little bit. Okay, so now we will go back to these little pieces, okay? Make sure I got my eight, you need eight of them. So now what you're going to do Kind of press them down, but I am just going to add glue to like basically almost half of it, okay? And I wanna make sure that these are pressed down so they're like that. And then you're just going to add them like that. Okay, so let me just go through and just so my card closes good. So I'm just going over that. Now I don't know if you need to, I'm, I'm just doing it because it felt like they were still kind of bulky and I wanna make sure that they're gonna be in case that line needed to be pushed a little bit. Okay, so we got that. And we're just going to add some glue, not too much, don't go too crazy. Okay. So you're doing all the bottoms together and all the tops. Okay, so just to kind of give you an idea. So you gotta finish doing it. I guess the main thing is just make sure you don't go too far over for a number of reasons because you need it to fit into your card. But, um, you know, it'll be too wide if you go too far over. So I'm just kind of holding that as I put them all down. My card's here, so I know I'm not getting too wide. I thought this was so beautiful with the daisies. Okay. So we're just going to kind of hold that in place for a second. Okay. So this is how it looks when you get it all done. Okay. So they're about halfway through this one's not quite but they don't have to be perfect if you feel better about marking them go ahead and mark them but um you can so 
I'm just gonna let that set for a second, but on here, I took in, um, I cut out the second and the top layer. So like the middle and the top layer for the daisies. And I just added that. So, and then I got my, on these, I took and did the back layer and the middle layer for them, for the inside. So let me go ahead and stamp the front and then that should be dry enough for me to add. And this one just says, wishing you the um, brightest birthday. And this is right from the daisy set. Hopefully I got that even out pretty good, not too bad. Okay, so this is kind of, I don't wanna say the tricky part, but what I found is, um, Last time I think I added the the back first, but I think I'm gonna add the front first. No, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the back first. So you're gonna put glue right there. So your glue will be on the back side and then the front, but I'm going to just do the, the back one first. And where you're gonna to wanna to line it up is right with the top score line Kind of keep it all closed. Okay, so this this is right with that the top score line. Okay. Because I think when I did this one, I didn't do that. I mean, I did that, but when I um, added glue onto this one, I, I don't think I closed it right because it's just off a little bit, but when I put my belly band on, it's fine. But um, So what I'm gonna do is just put glue right here and kind of hold this all together, okay? Matter of fact, let me just turn it though. Oops, ugh, as I, <laughs> it's like a glue, but um, I think it should work just so like my card is all even. Okay. So what I'm making sure is even is the top, the bottom, and everything. But I want that that one to line up with this. So let's see. Oh yeah, that's better, I think. Okay. That looks better. That's closed better. So I added my back and it goes to the top line there and then I kept it shut and added my um glue and then I closed that and just made sure it was all even so that's perfect and it's right on that line where it should be okay so that's how you get your little pop-up which I think is so cool so now I have a couple of I'm going to open this back up because you kind of want your bigger flowers, or at least I did, in the center. But you still want to be able to see the little ones in the back. So I had to add the little, um, you know, like extenders. But I just made them the same color as the, um, the lemon lolly as the base. So I just did a little quarter of an inch. And let's see. I didn't like how I put that. I think I'm going to put that right... You want to have it close enough, but not too close. I don't know if it should go there. I did it on the back side here, and I guess it was okay. Let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be my eighth flower. So I guess I'm going to leave it there because I'm not going to put it there. So I'm going to add glue. I guess that part I must have did right because you need the eight things and... Okay, so I'm just going to add a little glue there. So the last two I actually popped up, okay? Are not popped up, but raised up. So I'm just going to put that right there. I used a bigger flower there too. So the main thing is when you put your flowers in, make sure that they're in your card base. You don't want to get them outside of that because then um, 
Oh, let me put my glue here. I'm going to use this one because then, you know, they'll be sticking out when you go to mail it and you won't be able to mail it. So I'm just going to kind of put that one like that. It's almost touching there, your little um thing, but not quite. Okay, and then I got this one, so I want that one. I'm just going to add glue to the top of this because then I can move my flower around or my daisy. I'm getting low on glue or something. Okay, so let's put that so we make sure it's still inside the card, okay? Which it is. And then these, we'll be adding some glue here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the glue because I'll be using all the same. Same size daisy, okay. Oops. Now you can pop them up a little bit higher if you don't want them so down, but let's see, let's get that right there. Now, if you do get glue where you shouldn't, because you don't want this to stick, you always can add a little bit of um, cornstarch to the sticky part and it comes right off you don't even see that you got it on there but it takes the stickiness away or baby powder but I've always just used cornstarch for some reason so okay so now I'm going to add my other flower here I just thought this was so cool but like I said I didn't understand really what the lady was saying so I had to try to figure it out and the first time I made it I didn't glue these little pieces right so then I had to go back and <laughs> try to re-watch and figure it out and I do not know her name I mean I can try to look it up if you really want to see it but hopefully this helps you um what I did is I did add a little couple like well I don't even know if you can see but I added some leaves there so I might do that again, because I kind of liked how it looked. So just on this one, and you just want to make sure that they're in far enough. And I may even add, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Mm. Kind of looks nice when they're in the center a little bit. But what I'm going to do is try to add one on this side. I'll show you in a minute here. So then I got the third one. So let's see, that one's there. Okay. And you don't have to add these leaves. I was just adding them because I had cut them and figured why not. So I only got one on the other one, but okay. I think I like how that turned out. So it will close like that. Everything's tucked in, as you can see. And then when you open it up, woohoo, I think that is so cool. So I hope you like that part and hopefully you will try it. Um, let me do the belly band and put the front on. Oops. And like I said, it did fit in a regular envelope, but of course it will cost a lot more to um, send. See how that's just not lining up quite so much? I think the way I did it the second, third time, whatever, is better, okay? But I really like the way that looks. What do you guys think? Let me know if you like it. And like I said, you could do designer paper if you wanted to. But um, I think the white looks really nice, especially with the boho blue. And, and then your belly band, you don't want to get too tight. So want to have it enough, but not too much. I'm actually just going to glue...
kind of figure out how far it goes. I'd have to add just a little bit more. Okay. So that is a one inch strip by 11, okay? And then you don't really want to pop, I did add some embellishments on there, but you don't want to pop up like the, um, the sentiment. What a fantastic card if you received it, isn't it? Okay, that should be closed. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little glue. Oh, I should probably put this down more, but that's okay, I'm gonna leave it now. <clears throat> I can kind of do that. So I'm gonna add a little glue here. I didn't even pop this up. So that can be a little bit higher. But I probably would move my sentiment down. I see on this one I put a little too high, but it'll be fine. And then I have the little embellishments that go, this is the adhesive back solid gems. So I'm just gonna add some of these on here. I'm gonna do this since I got a little more room there. Okay. And then I'm going to put one up here. And that belly band will slide over that with no problem. Okay. So you just pull that up like that. And ta-da. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So, so cool. I hope you can kind of see how the leaves, I mean, I think the leaves actually look really cool on there. So I guess feel free to add a little bit more, but not too much so it's not too thick. So, okay. If you got questions, let me know. Um, if you like it, please let me know. And if you're going to make it, I'd love to, to know if I inspired you, okay? But um, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.